everyone welcome back to my channel today i thought i'd show you a few bits that i've picked up in aldi recently some of them i picked up last night and some were last week but i'm always really intrigued to see what supermarkets bring out for veganuary and seeing as it's january it's veganuary i popped into aldi and i wasn't disappointed this is not all food some are books and some is homeware like kind of homeware they're special buys if you like i'm going to start off with the special buy actually because i picked this up last night and i've wanted one of these long hot water bottles for ages i always see them around christmas time and i think i saw that savers were doing one for like 10 pounds and it was really long and fleecy and fluffy mine actually has water in it because i um, tested it out last night as soon as i got home because it was freezing i'm quite disappointed with this one actually and i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to keep it or not because I don't know I feel like this one's quite short I think the ones I've seen have been a bit longer this material is like jumper like knitwear material which is fine but I think a fleecy one would have been nicer and when I was sat with it yesterday it doesn't seem to like conduct heat very well so it wasn't like as hot as my regular hot water bottle would be but I mean I've had my old one for so many years it's like a Winnie the Pooh character like the cover and I mean it's just not but I've had it for so many years so this was the one I picked up and it's from their own brand called Kirkton House I think it was around about £6.50 and I thought that's really cheap because when I saw them before Christmas people were like oh this one's £10 and savers what a bargain so I thought this is an even bigger bargain but I just don't think it's the best quality I don't know if this is also too short I'm gonna have to google it but let me know if you have one of these and if yours like looks a bit longer than this but I don't know I'm not 100% they had two colors by the way they had this cream color and they had a gray I'll show you the books that I bought next as well in fact this is one of the reasons why I actually did my food shop in Aldi last week I've seen loads of people online talking about these and I am a book hoarder whether it's fiction or recipe books i buy more books than i could not that i could read but i definitely buy more than i do read but i just love books so much and i've, I've been really intrigued by pinch of nom i think it's a blog um i'm not entirely sure but they have all these recipe books that are like healthy recipes and like i think they're quick and easy to do and apparently they're really nice like people love their recipes and i saw people mentioning that these books were half price in aldi i don't know if this is like their new one or if it's like an old one i'm not too sure but they have two books this one's called everyday light and this one's called it's not called anything it's just called pinch of nom 100 slimming home style recipes i've already bookmarked some recipes that i want to make so these are both 5.99 in aldi they were on special buy i picked this one up a couple of weeks ago when i'd first seen that it was on special buy and i couldn't find the blue one but then when i went in yesterday um i found this one too so they do still have a few hanging around but the first time i went in i also found this i don't know why I, like i said i'm a book hoarder but this is the joe wicks veggie lean in 15 i always appreciate a good veggie recipe book because i am vegetarian and it just means i can literally make every single recipe in this book if i wanted to the pinch of non ones are not vegetarian or vegan and so i will just have to adapt the recipes i haven't even looked through them properly yet but i hope there's enough veggie recipes in there that i like the sound of but yeah these were all 5.99 each and i think i've seen them in like other supermarkets for like anywhere between 10 and 12 pounds so i thought that was a bargain and i picked up these three but moving on to the food because i'm sure that's what most of you are here for i am going to start off with some veganuary bits and then just a couple of odd bits i found this i'm always looking for snacks like healthy snacks and i get bored of popcorn you can't eat fruit all the time we've stopped buying crisps well apart from this one packet i have in front of me and i'm always just on the lookout for good snacks that you can just grab i've never even heard of veggie jerky before i believe this is probably new in their plant menu range their plant menu range is all vegan and it's black bean sauce flavored i have absolutely no idea what it's going to taste like but i was really intrigued by this i don't remember the prices of all this stuff i apologize but it's aldi you know it's going to be quite affordable so yeah i'm really excited to try this i have no idea like i just don't even i don't even think i know what actual jerky is like is it just dehydrated meat 
I don't know if it's cooked or I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so I picked up one of those. I found the jackfruit. I actually found these last night. I have bought these before. They did them last Veganuary. And it's just really annoying because I understand the concept of how their special buy products work. But I just wish that they had certain things in stock all year round. Like jackfruit. I, I love jackfruit. I don't cook with it that much. But... I can't, it's just something that I always forget exists and I see it in a supermarket and I pick it up and I actually bought four tins of these because last year I just bought one to try and then I went back on like the first or the second of February and I couldn't see it I asked a guy and he was like oh that was just a veganuary thing so they definitely sell young jackfruit in water and this is like a substitute for pulled pork I like I make biryani out of it I've made like pulled pork for burgers anything you want so I was really impressed to have found this and it was again I can't remember the price but I know it was a lot cheaper than it is in Tesco from what I remember I also found nutritional yeast I haven't bought nutritional yeast for so many years because like I say I'm not actually vegan I'm vegetarian but I'm mildly lactose intolerant so there's a lot of dairy that I can't eat and luckily or thankfully for me cheese is one that I can because I absolutely can't stand vegan cheese <laughs> and i have used this years ago to make like a cheese sauce and i found a recipe that i will probably never find again because i do this a lot i find recipes online make it immediately love it and then just forget to write it down <laughs> but it was like the nacho cheese sauce that you get in america which the dairy version i absolutely hate i don't like american cheese I hate like melty cheese sauce, especially like the orange cheese sauce. But the one I made with this was just incredible and it was so good. And so I'm going to try and recreate that. And obviously if I do perfect it this time, I will film a video. So I was very happy to pick this up. I also found veggie marshmallows. Now, I don't think these are vegan because it doesn't say, but I was very excited to finally try these, especially because, oh no, it is vegan. Oh, great. It, it says they're called veggie mallows, but it does say vegan just here. So that's very exciting. And I can't wait to just put them in some hot chocolate. Once I buy a hot chocolate, that I actually like the taste of. <laughs> these aren't new, but I've bought these plenty of times before. I love these veggie straws. They only ever have them by the till, from what I know. And... They're just crisps, but they're like French fries, but they're like square with a hole in them. And they are a little bit oily, but I really like the taste of them. And there's three different colors in the pack. There's green, pink, and like a white one. I'm sure the white one is just potato, I don't know, but that's the best tasting one. The green ones I'm not so keen on. In fact, that's probably kale and spinach because they're kale, tomato, and spinach flavor. Um, but I just love these crisps so much they remind me of ones that i used to buy in new york all the time last time we went to new york a few years ago we timed it so that we were there kind of at the same time as my aunt and her friend and every night before dinner our hotel would have like an hour where they gave us free wine and so we'd always buy these crisps and have a few drinks before dinner and they're just so good and i've only ever seen them in aldi so i'm very happy to have those this next one's a bit of a random purchase but i bought organic coconut sugar I don't know why I'm not really a baker but I always think I want to bake something especially now that we're in lockdown and so I always feel like this is really expensive in supermarkets normally and it was like just over a pound I think or maybe just under I can't remember but I picked it up in Aldi again I don't know what I'm going to do with it don't even ask me for a recipe because it will probably be about six months before I get around to using it but yeah I just saw it wanted to try it and I don't know if it's like gonna always be in stock or if it's just a veganuary thing oh before i forget there's one other thing that i bought that i really liked but we finished it so i can't show you it's the plant menu vegan coleslaw it is just so nice i love vegan coleslaw i'm not the biggest fan of regular coleslaw something about eggs just makes me feel a bit sick and it's just really nice it is a little bit on the sweet side i thought but then i've spoken to other people that have had it and who regularly buy coleslaw and they're like all vegan coleslaw is a little bit sweeter than regular i don't buy coleslaw on a regular basis so i wasn't sure but that is really really nice so i highly recommend that if you're looking for some coleslaw and the last two bits are not not Aldi branded and not necessarily vegan I think they have it in all the time but again back to me wanting to try and bake something in lockdown 
I bought some bread flour, is it called? Bread mix. So it's very minimal. I'm not a baker. I've never made bread in my life. But I saw this, it was like a pound, I think. Oat and linseed bread mix. I think you literally just add water, mix it up and bake bread. So I thought that's quick, quick and easy for someone that's never baked bread. And I was very excited by that. And then I also picked up this popcorn, which we've been trying to work our way through, but it's not very nice. This Metcalf's mini popcorn. I know this is a brand they sell in like regular supermarkets, but Aldi had it in stock when I last went. And I picked up this flavour called Cinema Sweet, and it's just really not very nice at all. I mean, it's vegan and gluten free if you're in the market for some popcorn, but I'm not a fan, I have to say. And also, I didn't know this, I, mean, I didn't buy it because it says, 53 calories per pack that's not the reason i bought it because popcorn's relatively healthy anyway but i mean no wonder there's 53 calories in there because it's about six popcorn kernels per pack so it's a little bit ridiculous <laughs> it's not very nice i think we also had the sweet and salted which was better but i mean it's just not very nice i would never buy this again and like come on like you like how is this even filling for a snack it's not unless you're like six years old that's gonna do nothing but yeah that is literally all i've picked up in aldi recently but i wanted to put this video out there just in case you guys are doing your weekly shop in aldi this month and you want to know what sort of vegan bits they have in at the moment i mean they obviously have tons more stuff they have like their whole plant menu range is huge but i'm just not like i always try like all these like not ready meals but like processed vegan foods and i'm just not always a fan i did film a taste test video oh god i think it was last year maybe it was last week january maybe or maybe it was about six months ago trying a lot of their plant menu so i'll link that video up here for you just in case you want to watch it but i wasn't a big fan and it's not it's not just aldi i'm happy with like plain vegan chicken or plain vegan sausages anything that's kind of marinated and already cooked or has a flavor i'm just not a big fan of so i didn't buy any of that this video wasn't something i filmed just to buy stuff just to show you what's available this is just what i've bought but i hope you found it helpful if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon with a new video bye